perfect so in today's class we will be covering lookup functions um, index match which is an alternative and even advanced than lookup functions and then we'll move to basic chart types in excel okay we'll try to cover all of them today um guys any idea what lookup functions are in excel have you used that before have you come across the term lookup functions okay so basically um, what do we use lookup functions yes we have v lookup h lookup etc um can you say why lookup functions are used and and what is the advantage of using lookups is it similar to uh, find like you know when you yes find yes it's it's used for searching the values for finding values and and to for easy access to values okay to find similar entry from different tables search one row column yes absolutely right so today uh, you know in in this module we'll be covering v lookup h lookup and how they can be substituted and even an advanced function of index match can be used okay so consider this example you know this table uh, with id first and last names email department so this is a table that you have it's an employee table and say you want to find the email address of the person email address of the employee uh, whose id is 620 okay this is your search this is your target okay so how you write a formula so i mean this is a cell where i'm writing the formula and it's giving me the corresponding email address so what formula do i write here i go to the cell where the value you know has to be written and start writing the formula as equal to so in excel whenever you start writing a formula start with equal to okay um i hope you remember this from last session right so i gave you a list of functions to practice functions and formulas to practice so and, and i believe you have tried it out uh, you know last week so you should always start writing the formulas in excel with equal to symbol okay so now i uh, write equal to v lookup of the term that i want to find okay so what is d4 here d4 is 622 So this value 622 has to be found in the table B A to F 17, which means here B 8, which is the starting line, right? Starting line of the table. From there, F 17, which is the last cell of the table. So the whole table range has to be given. This is the second entry that you have to give. So the first entry is the target itself. Second entry is the uh, array. the search array or the uh, search table range uh, where you have to find that value ma you see this 4 so uh, if you notice carefully you find the column numbers here right so the starting value uh, the first column of the table range will all will always be counted as column 1 will always be number 1 okay from there i'll have to move right side to four positions so keeping this position as 1 i'll have to move to and 4 okay so uh, what excel does is it looks for d4 so what is d4 622 the value 622 is searched throughout the table and it's found here in the first column right from there i'm going to move considering so this as 1 i'm going to move to 2 3 and 4 and here is my email id so i get this id and uh, false why i write false is because i want to get uh, an approximate match or an exact match it depends okay so this is how you write a v lookup formula keeping the target in mind the whole table range the search range uh, you know as a second entry and then how many positions to move so why it is called as a v lookup uh, you should get a question as to why uh, why we call it as v lookup right so v here stands for vertical lookup so i'm vertically going to find look for values and then move right side that's why it's called as v lookup you can imagine the shape of an l right an l goes like this right looking vertically and then moving four positions to right side so this is what v lookup uh, you know used for it's used to find the um, values vertically and then move right side did you get the concept yeah but i'm still not clear why we have to write false 
okay so false it's you know there are terms where you have to use approximate match and exact match okay if you want an approximate uh, um, you know value or if you want to find the exact value that you have specified in d4 right uh, you will get to know this when you start writing the formula in excel uh, when you start typing equal to v lookup of excel itself will prompt you to write the uh, you know lookup value the search table range and then positions to move and then whether you want an approximate match or an exact match can so you start the false, uh, sorry the false means that it, i need an exact match uh, false means i think for v lookup it is an approximate match you should try it out in your excel sheet start writing the formula you will find the prompt there okay and one more thing here you uh, there is 1 2 3 4 5 they are written so we don't really have to write it it takes it automatically right the oh yeah yeah you will not write so what i want you to do is write only four values of this table you know just create a dummy table with 610 798 841 and 886 just the first four rows yeah true is approximate match and false is exact match yes shri vali that's right so copy only the first four values of data and instead of 622 maybe you can search one of the four values okay you need not spend time in creating the entire table since it's for demo purpose uh, you know use only the first four rows and try finding any value within the four, first four rows so the idea here is looking up vertically that is um, searching vertically and moving right side that's why it's called as a v lookup guys start uh, open your excel sheets and start creating the table uh, let me know if you are getting to the result otherwise i'll help you Uh, ma'am hello yes sidhar go on ma'am if you don't mind uh, can you can you repeat it one more time in a crisp manner like uh, why we use this d4 b8 and f17 like particularly if you want to search this one only no no so see uh, for we look up you need four entries you have to give in four inputs okay. to get the result okay. okay the first one is What do you want to find the target? Okay. Which is present in my example. It's present in D4. I want to find 622. Okay, ma'am. Okay. And then the second entry is the table where this value has to be found. So, what is the table range? My table first row starts from B8. Colon yes. F70. So colon means the whole range will be selected for finding out. Okay. That's why the 622 will be looked upon, right? It will be searched for. Okay. okay. And then, comma four. The third entry is how many positions should we look up move to the right side after the 622 is found in the table? After this D4 is found in this B8 to 17 range. Okay. okay. I for a fact know that the ID column only contains 622. So after finding ID, whatever is present in the fourth position, so two, three, and four. Pick up that value and place it here. That is your result. And whether you want an exact match or a or an approximate match, you'll have to decide with the keyword false or true. False means exact match, and true means approximate match. Is that clear? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Hello. Yes, Hello. Nikhil. What is exactly is D4 standing over here? D4 is is 620. What exactly D4 in this wheel is looking at? So I I'm looking for the, the I'm looking for a person whose ID is 622, and I'm getting their corresponding email ID. You are looking at a person. So D4 is what? D4 is the place ID. that you. 
So I want to look for the person whose ID is 622 and fetch their email ID. Okay. So then why D4? You can even place it in C4. That, that's up to you. That's the, you know, okay. that's the yeah. place where you will place it, right? Exactly. So that's the place where I'm, you know, I want to find the values. You place a route put or result, right? Yes. You can even place it in A, B, C, or even down at the bottom of a table anywhere. You're searching for 622 in this formula. I'm searching for D4, huh? which is 622 in this table. D24 is the location of the output, right? D4. D4 is the location of the search value. D4. D4 is in the blank area outside the table, isn't it? Okay, so. Which one do you think is D4 in this picture? D4 is 622 over here, right? That's the, that's right. the location that uh, write the output. That's what you said. That's location of the output is E4. Location of the output is E4, okay. So what exactly D4 stands for? D4 stands for the value 622, na? You're searching that in the table. So how exactly did I came to know that I'm searching for 622? You can even replace it with 610. That's up to you. So see, simply I want the email ID of the person where ID is 622. If you want to replace it with 610, then you are finding the email ID of the person whose ID is 610. The idea is not D4 or the idea is not, uh, you know, the table range. The idea is okay. you're looking for a person whose ID is 622 and finding their email ID. Simple. I still got it. What I'm confused is that if you look at this week, uh, we look up formula B8 to F17 colon, that is clear to me. Right now, you are saying D4, the, the first thing that you are you are writing in this formula is the location where you will put your output, isn't it? No, that, location of the value which has to be searched. Location of the value which has to be searched, but the location of the value which has to be searched, 622 is B12 according to me, isn't it? No, so I'm looking for 622 in this table. This is separate. This is separate. Okay, this table starts from B8 and ends at F17, right? Correct, correct. Okay. Now, so where, where exactly, how how the uh, V function will get to know that you are searching for 622 in this formula that you have written over here? Okay, Nikhil, um, you understand why VLOOKUP look is used, right? Correct. Okay. Can you explain why? You are trying to fetch a particular entry in a particular row for which you need to have. So you are searching for the primary key of it. I am not searching the primary key of it. Primary key is not the right term here to use. So what is VLOOKUP? Okay. Um, you give me to, give it to me in a very simple format. Why do you lose use v, VLOOKUP? It's for finding searching. Right. So what am I finding here? You are finding the email ID of a particular ID. Correct. So I, what ID do I want to find? I specify it in D4. You specify in D4. You explain me only one thing. If I go inside this function of VLOOKUP within the braces, D4, the first thing that you have written, <coughs> represents the location where it is going to give you the output, right? No, that's what you're not understanding. D4 okay. is not the output. D4 is the term which has to be searched in the table. Okay, so what exactly is there in D4 according to you? D4 according to me is what I have to look for, what I have to okay. look up in the table. Okay, and what about the four thing? Number four. Four is the yes. position that you have to move after finding that value in the table. Move right side. Okay, sorry, I got it. Okay, anybody got the result? Are you facing any difficulty while finding the value? Okay, um, so what you can do is um, you can also change the D4 value. Say here I'm using 622, maybe you write 610. 
you can change the value in the default to be 610 and then if you look you will get the email id j.farley because the id that is to be found is 610 and after finding 610 i'm going to move four positions yeah so we look up will work without true and false because this true and false it, it's an optional field right even if you didn't write false or true uh, we look up will still function so by default it will take true it will give you an approximate match hello yes veera i have some few questions like uh, one is like uh, uh, whenever you are selecting it always works from the uh, this basis one two three four five whatever you are showing it's not in the reverse way it's always towards right it uh, we look up always towards right there's no uh, you know left side operation for that we oh, have sure. an alternative we have another set of functions which i'll tell you in the subsequent slides okay fine and the range of selection your whatever you chose it is from 610 right from your b8 if uh, in your excel in your slide it is showing b8 from that you are selecting the full thing right correct correct but in the filter when we are searching it was in the reverse way even you took that b7 also right last time when we did that conditional formatting mm -mm -mm. yeah tell me conditional formatting uh if you remember last last time it was uh, like uh, oh yeah yeah, yeah oh yeah yeah see because there there are two uh you know things again one the application range where the formula has to be where the condition has to be applied you remember that right um right. the condition applies to was the range um you know so the first row is considered as number one so wherever you apply to the first row is considered as number one and depending on the condition where it is working it will be either true 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 or false right true true false or wherever the condition is working it will be true otherwise it will be false right if i so use just, your table for that same conditioning example like uh, if i if i select uh, b8 to e17 is left something in that case even though if it is uh, if i'm uh, trying to highlight the search it will start from mm. e uh, e4 according to you in that conditional form because that is the first exactly. entry exactly because the condition was applied on a different range maybe one cell one row below and okay. the formula was condition was applied on a different range right okay but here but the below, selection matters yeah here the selection matters because i mean it doesn't matter that much because anyways uh, 622 is going to be found only in one place right okay and so this one two, four is like wherever it is filled like suppose uh, my d entry is empty okay? suppose uh, d entry is empty and i have mm. a e entry mm. then in that case if i write four will it choose that or will it ignore that it will it will so uh, whether the cells are blank or not blank uh, it's still counted as you know it's still counted as one even the blank cells are counted for excel it is only the positions that it, it, it has to move right so wherever the value is found that is considered as position one and then move to the fourth position from there whether okay. if the value is range of selection it moves to the fourth irrespective of whether it is correct. blank or no. correct and where where is the exact significance of this true and false you know, i don't know okay true and false i think we, i'll show you an example in uh, hlookup so okay. here i have just introduced I'm, I'm just introducing you to the formula um if you have got the result we can move to hlookup the next concept there i'll tell you why you know uh, approximate and exact is matching excuse me ma'am uh... yes i see i hear two voices nikhil you can go yeah uh, the only thing this four is the starting position will be one two two so one that is counting it as uh, 622 jonathan is two ladder is third and the mail id is fourth isn't it yes so thing uh, comma four sorry when i'm writing this after f17 four so 622 will be considered that means b12 will be considered as the first position so it's including b12 right and then it's moving fourth position horizontally correct okay thank you Okay, guys. Any other questions, ma'am? Uh, 
I am unable to do that. Like I feel I am doing something wrong. Can you check? Okay, it's Siddharth, right? Yes, ma'am. Can you share your screen? I've made you the presenter. Okay, ma'am. Is it visible, ma'am? Not. Yet. Oh, yeah, it's visible now. Ma'am, uh, this is okay. the formula I have applied. Please check. Mm. But it is not working. Like, and ma'am, am I doing something wrong? So, where exactly is that formula? Is it in that NA cell? E15 is where you have written the formula, right? Okay. Yes, ma'am. So you're looking for C4 in E17 to what e7 to i8 okay ma'am so this is your table selection okay okay so see um Siddharth, um you're looking for c4 so what is c4 ma'am c4 is abc okay you're looking for abc in where looking from e7 to i8 from e7 to i8 does any cell contain abc no ma'am then you won't get the result right right so, so what you have to do I... is click enter and come out yeah. click enter oh yeah uh go to a nearby cell maybe d15 go to that cell and uh, write your ma'am. target value go to d15 d15 mm. okay so here write what value you want to find maybe you want to find the value newspaper yes ma'am write that value newspaper uh, like as in uh, numerical or the uh, cell uh, detail like D no the word space. itself the word okay. itself write newspaper small case how is it written in uh, the cell Yeah, tab. Now, um, what value you want to find? You want to find newspaper in this table, right? Right. So, right, uh, D15. So, I'm looking for the value D15. Go to that formula, formula bar. Yeah, ma'am. Yeah. Instead of C4, write uh, D15. you're looking for that see the blue cell is highlighted right which means excel right. is correctly picking up the newspaper value you're looking for that value uh, in the table right. what is the table range now ma'am table is uh, d6 for newspaper no 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 what is the whole table range the entire whole table range yeah? the it is like, like the spread of table. it's i8 what is the starting range of the table? Ma'am, uh, it's C3. Right? C4, C4, sorry. Ha, C4. So write C4 to I8. You're looking for one particular value in a whole table. Right. <clears throat> okay. And uh, come next. Let's write arrow key and come to the next part. Right. Uh, okay. Yeah. So here, whenever newspaper is found in the entire table, say I want to get fetch the price. Okay. okay. So considering newspaper as one, I'll move two, three, and four. So the position four is correct, and I want an exact match. Now click enter. The formula is correct. So now click enter. Go to NA and see what the error is. Click on that diamond symbol. I'm also getting um, same error. This one? A value is not available. Same error I'm getting. Uh, show calculation steps. You see in that diamond symbol, 
in the diamond symbol bottom you get few okay. options right come to that na cell ha huh. now click on that diamond bar drop down show calculation steps okay we look up of newspaper in this whole cell evaluate Hmm. Close this. Uh, change your table reference to D four to I eight. No, no table reference. Ma'am, one second. Uh, Keep it as D fifteen, comma. Yeah, D four to I eight. D four is to I eight. Instead of C four, right? D four. Hmm. And then, ma'am. Ha. Okay. So, which means that you'll have to start the formula from the leftmost. You know, you have to start your table range from the leftmost. That position is always okay. considered as the first position. Okay, ma'am. Sorry, what is the leftmost meaning? Which one? So, you, I'm looking for newspaper, and uh, I'll have to start my table range from the column which has newspaper. So that has always to be. I mean, that has to be my first column always, the starting range of the table. Oh, so instead of C, C four, yeah. we have to go with D, D four, starting range. Yes. So if that C was empty, uh, the old function will work. Huh? The uh... no, then also it won't work because Excel starts searching from the first column itself, the value that you want. Suppose if the C uh, column itself is deleted. Hmm. If, if then also empty, it like, won't work. If it is empty like B, hmm. then if my this one starts from D four, in that time it will work. No, then also it won't. Why? Because See, irrespective of, I am specifying here D four. So whether the value is present or not in C four, that it, it doesn't matter anymore, right? Because my table range itself is starting from D now. So why do you want to worry about column C now? Okay, I think I I don't understand your question properly. You want to repeat that, Vira? Uh, no. Uh, earlier it was D four or. Uh... No, earlier it was C four. C four, okay. Which means that Excel always starts to look for the value in the first column itself. So you'll have to specify the value from the first column and then move how many positions towards right. That's what VLOOKUP does. Okay, so you are saying uh, I understand okay. right? That newspaper, whatever you are searching, that should be my first column. That wherever first. it is present, that is my first column. Correct. That should be the starting range of the table. Okay. That lookup value wherever it is there, that is the first uh, range it should start, and that is my first column. I it considers. Yeah. Correct. Because Excel considers that as position number one, and from there it's going to move four positions, right? Okay. Okay. Uh, anybody else? Are you able to get the result? I can help if you getting error or if you're not getting the exact result that you want. Um, uh, I have the same problem. Um, the result. Were you able to get the result now? No, ma'am. It shows in slash. Okay, share screen. So we can you share your screen? Sure. 
Okay, I have made your web address that name as presenter. Uh, one minute. I'm showing. No. No. Uh, uh, just it is uh, Shovik Dev. I think. Okay. Okay. Wait. Now. Yes. Okay. Where is the lookup value? What value are you searching for? Uh, email ID. No, no, no. So you'll have to write what value you're exactly looking for. Uh, for the email ID, a name show week, email ID. Uh, so write name show week somewhere. Somewhere in the cell. So you have to write the name itself. So okay. it. now write the formula equal to V lookup of you're looking for the value C18, right? This, but it shows. Yeah, let, let's figure it out. Uh, so you have written C18. So Sovic is looked in the table uh, B5 to D9. Okay. Ma, you're moving to the position. Okay. You're moving five positions. So see, Sovic, yes. um, the column is considered as position one. You'll have to move the fifth position means two, three, four, five, which is column F. And column F is empty. So that's why it's giving you error. Okay. Now change that five okay. to... What do you want? Email ID or phone number? Which one do you want? Yeah. Anyone, anyone. Just uh, it's a three. Okay, right. Three. Maybe it's three or two. Right. Yeah, two or three, whatever. It's your choice. Two. Hmm. Okay. Perfect. Okay, maybe so you can from it. where I have to start, yes. I got it. Yeah. And after that, I have to take the uh, number. It's two or three right. or any other. Oh. Correct. So we can go back to the formula. Uh, let me. I just want to see. So it it moved to from the from C. Sorry, you put five. But it was. It will be uh, two. If I want to know the email ID, or if I want to know the phone number, then it will be three. Right, ma'am? Correct. Yes, sir. I just want to, uh, you know, uh, get this. This is uh, moving two places from which row? From which, which row I have to take it? From which column? It's from column uh, uh, B5. Sorry? Whatever we are searching, that will be uh, number one column. So from there, whatever the number you are giving, it moves that much cells col uh, column wise. Am I right, madam? Yes, 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 Vita, you're right. So we can you replace that two to three? Is that clear? Yeah. Okay. So now I'm gonna take over the screen. Ma'am, one more thing. I tried within the cell also that took up value. You are writing it separately, right? Without that, mm -hmm. I, I tried to pick that ID from the cell itself within the table itself. That is also working. Mm, of, of course, that will work because here cell reference is the only, I mean, that's the only way of finding the value, right? So okay. even if you find within that value, it will work. See, the whole idea of VLOOKUP is to find a value from the raw data set from the raw data dump and you have your search value or target value somewhere else in a new sheet or in a new cell range okay no somebody asked in the first question somebody asked why you are writing that in the deep code so for that okay okay cool now let's move to h lookup so now i i believe v lookup is clear for you just keep that concept and make it ulta like we look up you searched for the value vertically and then moved right 
right side right so h look up means you're going to look for the values horizontally uh, right ways and then move to the bottom so it's like writing a 7 search horizontally and then move vertically v look up was like writing an l search vertically and then move right so now uh, i want you guys to uh, you know create this table write a sales value and commission percentage right from sales till uh, you know this 9% so quickly fill in this table okay and then um, just write the first row of these two tables so i have if, if the sales uh, is 50000 then the commission percentage is 3% 75000 4% likewise the value is arranged in a horizontal table format okay now what if i want to find the commission percentage for a value which is close to 171900 dollars okay so now um i'll have to look for the value 171900 in this table range right so i'm looking up for the value c8 which is 171900 and notice this i'm writing h lookup horizontal lookup okay so i'm looking for the value c8 in c4 to h5 if you notice here i've frozen my uh range dollar c dollar 4 because i don't want the table selection to move even if i drag the formula down here i don't want the formula to change so that's why i'm writing dollar c dollar 4 to dollar h dollar 5 so this is the whole table range okay these two rows i'm looking for c8 in these two rows and once the value is found once the value 171900 is found in this table i want to move positions down so keeping the uh, sales row as column 1 i'm going to move to the second position vertically downwards okay and here if you see i'm giving 1 otherwise you can write true also that will also work so true means approximate match okay so i don't get this exact value 171900 dollars i don't find this in the table so the value that is lesser than i mean you know the this value which is close to 171900 and the corresponding sales percentage found is that clear guys so this is the difference between uh, zero and one or false or or true in the last entry ma'am uh, can i ask one question mm mm-hmm. and please don't mind about my uh, layman question because it's very difficult for me to understand these things see here you have mentioned c8 c8 as in we are trying to find the value uh, sales value of apple b right no no the apple value is all, sales value is already there in the column i'm writing the formula okay. here in commission percent okay so can you explain your formula like it c8 uh, and c4 is a c4 mam what no no so first entry is what look up value right so what i'm looking right. up for 171900 where do i have to look up in the table c4 to h5 this is my whole table selection okay okay and why am i using dollar to freeze the uh, particular column to freeze the range table range Sorry. so uh, okay. you said okay yes please yeah so c4 to h5 excel will search for the value 171900 okay and okay. ma'am what is this 2 and 1 mm. so after finding that value so what is the third entry in a lookup function the pos- number of positions to move right right so in a h lookup after the value is found the excel control will move downwards move at the bottom okay so after finding that value i'll have to move two positions so uh, say sales value this row is you know number 1 so i'm moving to the second row at the bottom mam you are not audible i guess no so uh, i'm just okay, seeing okay. if you understood or not So I was see, able to understand till uh, okay. In H lookup, what did you do? First value, 
second table range and then number of positions to move what ma'am this i am having difficulty in number of positions to move like the uh, second and third entry is to select the data like b8 and f17 this is the thing we want to uh, you know like select what about this four that that is the point four of is, doubt yeah number of positions to move after that value is found in that table right so in this example i moved four positions after 622 is found i moved two three and four similarly okay. in h lookup i'll have to move considering this as one i'll have to move to the second position vertically okay Ma'am, can we make this data the same one you are having? So at least we can try. Hmm. Simple, right? So just write sales, commission percent, and fill up these columns in your Excel sheet. So we need to make this one, not the below one, the four columns. You need columns. not make the below one. So that's what I'm trying to say. Uh, write only the horizontal table, row four okay. and row five. Copy this. Okay. Let me. Write sales value and commission percentage. Stop with this. You need not drag the formula down. You need not write all these. Who has got the result already? Did anybody get the result? Okay, yeah, so two means um the number of positions to move downwards after the value is found comma one means uh, it stands for uh, true or false so in the previous example i showed you false right so false means in excel it stands for zero whereas here uh, i want to find an approximate match okay just an approximate match is enough that's why i'm writing true or one you can write either true or one here as a last entry So basically, ma'am, here sales and column is indicated as one and two. So we have to search for the second row. Uh, number of positions to move, if if that's what you're asking. Number of positions to move after the value is found. Uh, that, that you know row is considered as number one, moving to the second position vertically downwards. Because in H lookup you moved right side, right? One, two, three, four. Likewise, in VLOOKUP, sorry, uh, in VLOOKUP, you moved right side, one, two, three, four. Similarly, in HLOOKUP, you'll have to move downwards, considering this as one and this is two. So find the dollar value and find the corresponding, take the corresponding percentage. Uh, Ma'am, can I share my screen, please? I'm not getting this. Can you just guide me? I'm giving you access. Yeah. It's okay if you're getting error uh, because it's slightly a tricky concept. So when you're getting error, let me know. Yes, Shika, go on. So uh, mm. we look. I got it. Uh, so this is the table I've made. Mm. I put a H lookup here. Mm. Okay. So and what value you're looking for? Uh, sales sales value but what value exactly say let's write, uh, no no don't take a look for the exact value say uh, huh. write 300 just write 300 okay so you're looking up for the value see look up value it can be either a cell address or the value itself okay okay, okay so I'm looking, see excel is prompting you to write you see look up value is what you're yeah. writing as a first entry yeah. right yeah. 
comma what is the table id yes ha so keep keep your cursor on r19 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 okay yeah huh. select it and then hmm. drag it to u20 one one thing below one ha huh. done so your table array is also selected now right comma mm -hmm. so after this value is found in the first row you'll have to move to the second position right so right to row index number is 2 two okay so uh, you want an exact match or uh, approximate no, match okay. yes approximate just put three and close and enter so right? zero is actually exact match uh, shika so okay. decide whether you have approximate match or exact match so i put false okay false is exact match yeah and then i just close this table right okay I'll close it let's see what happens oh. you will no. get an na because the exact value is not found so go to the formula bar and uh, hmm. right comma two comma one so i want only an approximate match okay okay right one one enter still any okay instead of 300 can you write 400 oh wait 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 uh go to row um click enter and come out um uh, from where you get the 300 and it is explain yeah i'll i'll inform um shika go to your that 400 dollar go there yeah can you remove the dollar symbol from the front yeah similarly remove for all the numbers okay yeah okay you understand now why uh, the error is gone okay i'll oh. explain because yeah. you wrote dollar and then space and then the number excel is considering that as a text value it's a combination of symbol plus number okay 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 now how you can express this is go to that uh, 400 go to that uh, r19 yeah. um you see general at the top you see the data type general at the top general general come a little Where? down and then write come a little down and then write right right side right side you find general and then a drop down near general you see conditional formatting right conditional a formatting little, a little left to that you see general a little above oh, yeah. Yeah. yeah yeah general okay okay so this is a data type uh, can you change it to num ah uh, can you change it to currency now yeah so this is how you can change the data type you simply can't write dollar space and then a value mm -hmm. clear so ah uh -huh. so now what you can do is copy the format use format painter uh go to this thing alt h f p use shortcuts sorry alt h f p now you have missed and your uh, this thing Okay, just paste it there. Go to general and change it to currency. Okay. Uh, select the whole. Better you select the whole row and change it to currency. Yeah, your selection is not here. Yeah. Okay. Clear. Yeah. yeah. So now, can you see? Uh, get inside that formula. Yeah. Yeah, I'm. Uh, you understand why I've written three hundred instead of the cell range? You can also write the exact values. so say i want to find the sales percentage if my sorry i want to find the commission percentage if my uh, you know value is sales value is 300 right 800 next in the next cell no no there only just change the r19 yes. to yeah 
right uh, 800 hmm? you see that so i'm getting the percentage of this particular amount the percentage value yeah so for 800 what's the percentage value nine percent right yeah that's what yeah. i'm getting here as a result okay now you okay. can change the format of this cell um now go to general uh, no no click on that percentage icon below general this one that's it done okay did you understand the concept i understood like for these particular values i'm just getting the percentage with the uh, so the input that i'm giving is sales but the output that i'm getting is percentage percentage commission percentage okay so i'm looking for commission percentage by giving a sales value from a table okay okay here i'm only doing an approximate match because it, it's a numerical value right sales is a numerical value yeah. so it it, it can be four, 400 rupees it can be 405 rupees so it's okay if i do an approximate match that's why i'm specifying comma one or comma two at the end okay okay cool i see comments on the chat hello yes veera uh, two questions like one is uh, uh, we are trying to look up and uh, take the value extract the value from the given range right Mm-hmm. So that nine percentage when it comes, it doesn't come as nine percentage. It comes like a different uh, uh, format. Format. Hmm. You want to extract the same thing as per the input table. What should you do? No, for that you only have to change the Excel cell formatting. So wherever the value is written, change the format of that particular cell to maybe currency or percentage or fraction. Up to your choice. Okay, we have to manually only do it. Yeah, manually change the format of the cell where you want the result. Okay. And one more thing, uh, that frozen and that normal selection, I don't see any difference actually. Where it oh, goes. yeah, yeah. Uh, um, Shika, can you share your screen again? That can be demonstrated easily. Hmm. So, um, to P22, come to cell P22. Ah, say, for example, here we are looking up for the value 800, right? Right, 800. Just 800, okay. 800 here, and go to that formula, uh, yeah. Q22. Change that 800 yeah. to P22. Mm, perfect enter it okay now what you do is come to p23 and write 250 okay okay now i don't i only want to drag the formula uh, to the bottom from q22 just drag the formula down yeah you see why there's a zero percent um click on zero percent let's see what formula is written there okay can you guys notice the table range has changed from r20 to u21 r20 to u21 but the 21st row it doesn't contain any value at all right since i moved the formula down my table range is also changing so if i don't freeze the table range i can't get a consecutive i can't you know get the current value so that's why okay. um the range is yes, correct the range has changed after you drag it down so now uh, go to q22 and yeah. uh, in the second argument make it dollar r dollar 17 dollar r r dollar 17 sorry sorry dollar 19 sorry after all dollar, dollar. yeah dollar 19 yeah. and then dollar 2 dollar 20 and now drag the formula to zero i mean to the next cell ah. you guys get it 
because since the table is frozen uh, only that uh, you know q21 p22 and p23 are changing okay any questions here anybody still facing error ma'am i'm facing a uh, error in this one as well okay share your screen so that yeah go on ma'am can i show you that evaluation part no 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 uh can i explain what i did so that it would be easy for you to find out my error mm mm explain your thought process ma'am suppose if i want to uh, find out the value of h here like it is 18700 one second so okay wait first minute first okay what is h2 h2 cell is empty so excel can't find a value first of all that is the error okay ma'am okay done you are looking for the value h3 in uh, which range ma'am suppose in the whole table if i want to check so do i need to uh, like d3 to uh, j4 okay you are writing the formula itself in j4 uh that is an improper way of writing stop with i okay write from d3 to i'm sorry somehow can i remove this go to the formula bar keep your cursor okay. there and then yeah make it uh, d3 to uh what is it i right J, ma'am. J. The last one is J. You have written the formula in J itself, so you need not include it, right? Okay. Yes, ma'am. I. Hmm. Hmm. Now. Uh. Okay. Next. How many positions you want to move? You are saying you want to move three positions. But that is not possible. Like we are not having three column. Three column, nah. Three three rows. Three rows. The first row is sales, second row is annual growth, and the third row is empty according to you. So write two. Two. Hmm. And you want an approximate match or exact match? Um, ma'am, exact match if I want. If you ask, if you ask for exact match, you won't. Okay, but anyway, okay. Write exact match. Comma zero. Hmm. Enter. You understood? I'm sorry, ma'am, but I'm not able to find and understood this one. Like I'm getting okay. the thought process. What we have to solve, but what is my end result? Suppose if I want to check the annual growth of H column or the sales, so that's the thing I want to know. Annual if growth of more. which value? That that's important, right? Annual growth of which sales percentage? You have to specify that, na? Suppose if I am, uh, if I want to uh, see the annual growth of H3, that is eighteen thousand or fifteen percent. So how can I find out that, ma'am? Annual growth of what? It's three. Three, because it is based on third location. Na? I mean third. Okay, come to J four. J four. Okay. Hmm. That's what you're exactly finding, right? You're finding the annual yes, growth of H three. And what is annual growth of H three? Fifteen percent. You're getting the result. Fifteen percent. Okay, so that is it is reflecting the same value because it is having same one. Because you're finding that you're finding the annual yes, growth of sales value eighteen thousand seven hundred. Okay, ma'am. Okay. Anybody else questions, doubts? So you know, I I I was just uh, wondering. Uh, you know, when you have lots of data, 
and uh, you use these uh, shortcuts so mm. instead of using you know like the uh, you, know, you know those tabs that are on on top if you use these uh, shortcuts uh, don't you have to make sure first that all the formula everything is frozen because then it keeps changing no correct correct and that's why because in hlookup i wanted to say that you have to freeze the table don't freeze the lookup value but freeze the table range okay because then there is a higher chance for getting errors and hmm that's right because in the first entry you're looking up for a value that lookup value might change today you maybe you want to find the sale uh, commission percentage of uh, you know sales value 800 but in a next on the next day or uh, in the next exercise you might want to find the commission percentage of $500 right so the lookup value keeps on changing but the table range shouldn't you're going to look up in the same table so freeze that table range so freeze that with dollar signs correct right. 